Everybody here yet? Yeah, they're going to drive us crazy around here. Everybody's here just for the free stuff. You know that. That's okay. <laughs> My name's Scott Johnson. This is the 2001 New Devils drum line. Give it up. Come on. <laughs>
And I think we've got some improvement out throughout the summer as well. So they're going to be a lot more, less maintenance work, let's put it that way, because they're going to be a lot sturdier. Um, base runs, we had a great time with last year, and they're, they're, they're still down as far as the equipment. All right? Of course, the players are going to start. But, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so that's why we're a little bit bigger than we have been in the past, all right? We're going to play the next exercise for you, I believe. What are we doing next? Where are we at? Triplet diddle. How many people know triplet diddle? Uh, yeah, that's like been around since I have, which is a long time, all right? And this is one of those exercises that you have to have in your repertoire or some form of this because it covers every diddle, possibility, and triplets. How come triplets are more important than 16 mil stuff nowadays? Anybody know? Why? Alternating hands? That's plus for the shirt. See, now you guys get it figured out, okay? Pop it with the answers. Just gotta start storing the stuff. What's the other reason that triplets are used a lot more nowadays than besides the 16 mil? triplets a lot more as far as the writing base too when you write music you do use triplets a lot more you do a lot more with it when you get 16th notes at this speed it's pretty quick and you're, you're, you're stuck with 16th notes eighth notes quarter notes they stay as far as working diddles and plan patterns it's pretty quick so that's why we do a lot more stuff in triplets nowadays triplet diddle that was a long explanation <laughs> now we're gonna do the snare voice first
four sets last year, and that's why those are nice and level. Okay, this is the fifth set we do together for the clinic for the uh, five, five broad this year. But Stuart is so badass, he can play on anything. So we gave him this set. <laughs> Stick heights. Tempo control, interpretation. You can do those three things, you're maxed out. There's nothing else to do, all right? Stick heights, that's your dynamic, that's your music. Tempo control, duh. Make sure you hear your tempo. That's that Dr. Beat that you hear in the parking lot 20,000 times out there all the time, right? Everyone's trying to figure out which Dr. Beat they're supposed to go with. And the third thing, interpretation. Make sure all the diddles line up exactly. Make sure you play the same 16th note pattern. That's interpretation. Make sure everybody interprets the music, the exercise, the same way. Um, one thing about the quad sticks. Notice anything different? <coughs> Yeah, we're, we're trying to use wood this year, okay? We're actually in the process of developing this quad stick with um, Vic Bird called the Vega. Oh, <laughs> 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 we're using the scooters right now, okay? Which is uh, my indoor stick. The quad used them last year a little bit in some of the summer show. They really liked them. Uh, we're also using them indoors with the other group that I work with, RCC here. They're, they're, the quads are using those sticks as well as the snares. And these guys like them because they like the feel of the wood. I don't know why quads always had different grips and metal sticks and whatever else. So we're trying to go with the woods and wood sound a little bit. The only thing we're trying to find out now is, as some quad lines hit a little bit of metal every now and then, not these guys, of course. But when other guys hit metal, we start to chip off the ends of the sticks. Who's still chip? Oh, you guys all got a new stick. There's nobody chip now. Oh, <laughs> Miguel. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, they, they wear down a little bit, so we're trying to actually get a nylon tip. I didn't tell you about this one. We're trying to do this with a nylon tip. So we don't have to worry about the, uh, the makeup, by the way. So we don't have to worry about the wood chipping so much. So we are working on a new quad stick. So coming soon to a store near you, the Vega quad sticks. Uh, contrasting? No. You know, we're running out of time. Contrasting differences. This is an exercise that Mr. Roger Carter wrote again called Contrasting Differences. Deal with triple variations, and the whole idea, the reason it's called Contrasting Differences, is the extreme heights that we use throughout this exercise. Before this, we found this chart. Uh, Romero Barrera, band director at Logan High School, by the way, program coordinator for Blue Devils, uh, found this piece of music called Away Day. And this is basically maybe half of the opener, maybe two thirds of the opener, somewhere about there, which is pretty much all we're ready to show in public. Yeah. So um, we're doing something a little bit different. We're using the Dr. Beat. All right, so for those of you guys who know what that is, most of you guys do. Uh, we normally don't do that this early in the season because we can't hang with the guys, but we're going to hang with it this time. And uh, we jump around a lot of tempos, a lot of three eights, five eights. Three eights, two fours, three fours. So Roger Carter is going to be our master on the Dr. Beat to help us out here. And here we go. Oh, hey, yay. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's the first uh, chunk of our opener. As you can see, we're coming out strong. All right, the whole idea is to make a serious statement in the first five seconds. And uh, with that in mind, let's hear that snare flute like in the beginning again. Then we're gonna hear the quad after that. It's, it's all about making that first impression to stick with everybody's mind. All the way to the Sure, sure.